The murky water of the Amazon River hides a truly shocking animal, the electric eel. Its body is two meters long, and around four-fifths of that consists of special muscle cells that can generate their own electricity, delivering zaps of up to 600 volts. That's more than enough to stun the small fish and invertebrates that the eel normally eats. It's even enough to incapacitate a human or a horse. The eel's powers are infamous, and many scientists thought that they were straightforward. Big zap, dead prey, on the lock. But it turns out that we have greatly underestimated how subtle and sinister the eel's use of electricity can be. It's a taser. It's a remote control. It's a tracking device. You think the electric eel is shocking? You haven't seen anything yet. Bees can sense the small negative charges that surround flowers, and they can even tell the difference between different blooms based on the shapes of those fields. Sharks, rays, the duck-billed platypus, and at least one species of dolphin can also sense the electric fields given off by the muscles of other animals. The hammerhead shark is a master of this. Its distinctive head is basically a big metal detector. But some animals can do more than just detect electric fields. They can generate their own. There are electric catfishes in African rivers and electric rays in oceans all around the world. And then there's the infamous electric eel. Not an eel at all, but actually a very long knife fish. Ken Catania from Vanderbilt University has spent many years studying these animals. Catania found that when the eel hunts, it releases simple pairs of quick, sharp electric pulses. These doublets stimulate the neurons that feed into a fish's muscles, forcing it to reveal itself. The eel effectively has a remote control with a big button on it that says, move. Once the eel senses its prey, Catania found that it unleashes a continuous barrage of intense electric pulses, 400 volts every second. Now, instead of just twitching, all of the fish's muscles contract, stiffening its body and paralyzing it, which is roughly what happens when a human gets hit by a taser. The electric eel is basically a living battery, with a positive pole at the head and the negative one at the tail. When it's submerged, the current it creates passes every which way through the water. But when it jumps, the current passes through whatever it presses its head against, whether that's the handle of a net or the leg of a horse. In 1800, the German naturalist Alexander von Humboldt tried to collect electric eels by driving horses into pools full of these fish. The eels reportedly leapt out of the water, shot to the poor horses, and exhausted themselves in the process, allowing Humboldt's men to safely grab them. Many people doubted that eels could do anything of the sort, and one august publication, The Atlantic, even described his account as Tommy Rot. But now we know that the electric eel is indeed as fantastical as Humboldt suggested. So. Sorry about the Tommy Rock thing, Alexander. The Atlantic regrets the error. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>